Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pipe. I don't know why you want to make a pipe, but I'm going to show you how to make a pipe anyway. So, to start off, I'm just going to get rid of this real quick. And I'm going to press Shift A to add a new mesh, and I'm going to add in a cylinder mesh. From here, we're going to press OR and X, or Y, excuse me, and 90, just to turn it on its side like that. Now we're going to press S and make it smaller, the whole thing. Then I'm going to press S again and just scale it along the X axis. So it's, 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 a, it's an elongated cylinder now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to edit mode by pressing tab. And down here in edit mode, if you click the face select button, you can select individual faces. Then I want to press E to extrude this out and then or and y to sort of to turn this like like so and from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again a couple of times or oh, hang on rotate y extrude rotate y extrude rotate Y extrude rotate Y and extrude and then rotate Y again and then I think once more should do it I'll do and then extrude again so okay it looks a, a bit like a pipe now what we're gonna do is Go into edge select mode down here. I'm gonna click on this edge here and then Alt click it again so it selects all the edges in that loop. And then I'm gonna move it up slightly to here. Just to get rid of that little dent that was appearing from the last time. Now if go back into face select mode select this face up here at the top, press X and delete the face and the same with the other the other end here. That gives us a hollow tube which we're going to use to model out a pipe from. Now from the, from here you're going to press Ctrl or to create a loop cut and I'm going to put this about here and then I'm going to create another one and put it here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these loop cuts to extrude out little ribs that make that will make it look more pipe-like. And control and one more down here should do the trick. Okay, now we're going to go into face select mode. I'm going to click on these faces and then press Alt and right-click it again. Now I'm going to press E to extrude, I'm going to right click again and then press S and extrude these out or scale them out even just so I have a little rib like thing here. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of these uh, edges or whatever and right click and scale them out. Uh, to about here, that should do. Yeah, that should do. And the same thing again up here. Extrude, right click, S, and bring them out. Okay, now from here, I'm just gonna get out of uh, edit mode by pressing tab. I'm just gonna scale this whole thing down a bit. Now I'm gonna go over here to the object modifiers tab and add a modifier, a subdivision surface modifier. And I'm gonna put it set it to about three subdivisions. I'm gonna set the view and the render to be about equal here, and that should that should work okay. I mean, yeah, it's fine. So we'll click apply, and I go over here to the, on the left and click smooth shading, which will take away any of those jagged edges, especially around this area here. Now I'm going to 
Press Shift A to add a new mesh. I'm going to add in a plane. I'm going to put this down about here. I'm going to scale it up just for something to have the pipe rest on. Now I'm going to press 1 on the number pad and 5 to go into orthographic view and Z to go into wireframe view so I can clearly see where the pipe is and line it up with the ground. I'm going to press 5 and Z. And then I'm going to rotate this pipe so it's leaning on its side. So I'm going to go rotate X 90. And that will do just fine. Now from here, I'm going to add in a solidify modifier. Just to add some thickness around and make it look like it's a solid pipe instead of really, really, really thin. And... Okay, so we'll just apply this, that's fine, and we're going to add a new material now to this, and we're going to give it a glossy shader, and if you go into the colour and click down here, we're going to give it kind of a, a brown copper-like colour, and we're going to give it a roughness of 0.005-ish, and change this a little bit, make it a little bit lighter, okay, that'll do. Now, for the ground... What I want to do is, I'm going to give it a texture, a tile texture. Now to do this, I'm just going to bring out here, bring out another viewport here, and I'm going to go into the UV image editor by clicking this little button down here and go into UV image editor. Now what I want to do from here is click on image and open image. I have a texture here that's called tiles plane zero one two two, whatever, and um, this will come up here now. Uh, having the plane selected in the left viewport, I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode and then I'm going to press U and click unwrap and you see these these lines appearing around here. That's basically this being translated onto this image. So if I go into texture now, we won't see anything just yet because I haven't applied the texture to, that, to this mesh yet. If I go in here to image texture, we're going to diffuse and then right clicking on the color and click on this button here and go to tiles plane. You'll see these tiles pop up. Now, these tiles are too big, so I'm going to make them smaller by clicking, uh, selecting all the, uh, the edges on the right hand side in the UV image editor, pressing S to scale it up. And you can see as we scale up, the tiles get smaller. As we scale inwards, the tiles get bigger. So I'm going to press about 2 to double the size of what it was previously. And that will do fine. Now I'm going to go from here into the node editor. I'm going to click down here on the shader nodes. This will give me the, the node setup for the material of this plane. Now I'm going to go in and add a mix node by going to add, color, and mix. Now if I bring this put it about here, click multiply and take the color output from the image texture, put it into the bottom input of the multiply node and bring the out the right hand side of the node out and put it into the displacement input of the material out node and set this factor to about 0.6. It'll give us some nice bump mapping on these tiles. Now I want to set up the camera, so I'll just maximize this viewport here like so. And what I want to do here is press control, get it, get it, uh, the camera in a position that I want. So about here should be fine. I'm gonna press Control Alt and then Number Pad Zero to align. That will align the camera with my current view, and that's fine. Yeah. Now I'm going to set up some lighting real quick uh, by pressing Shift A, creating a plane, and just bringing it out here like this, and rotate. Oh, hang on, I'm going to rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Mm, hang on, I'm after messing that up. Hang on. Whoa. Okay. Let's do this again. I'm going to rotate. 
on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Okay, just bring it up here. We want to kind of pointing down on the pipe, so we're going to rotate on the x-axis again. And have it kind of pointing down like like this. Scale it up a bit. So it's providing a little bit more light and. Actually, I'm after making this part of the tall texture, so yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna need to get out of this. I'm gonna need to delete this face and yeah, get out of edit mode. Okay, that was stupid. Add a new plane. Let's bring it back here real quick. Rotate on the x-axis, so it's kind of pointing down. I'm gonna go add three. Goes over the graphic mode. Just bring this up here and scale it up like this. And I'm gonna give this a new material. It's gonna be given an emission shader. I'm just gonna set this slightly off white and give it an emission of about eight. Now if I press number pad zero to go back to uh my camera, I'm gonna render this now in a second. And if you go to the render tab up here and you come down to integrator. I'm setting the render to 250 samples, the preview to 50 samples, and the clamp to 0.98. Now you can, you should probably set this clamp to somewhere around the value of one, which will reduce any fireflies or noise that's going on in the scene. Uh, if you don't, you'll probably, if you're working with glossy shaders or glass, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot of noise. So I like to set that to about one. Now I'm gonna render this and just have a quick look at what it looks like at the moment okay it's looking kinda like a pipe now I'm just gonna get out of this now I'm gonna click on the world tab out here click X and new and make sure you have background selected right click on this color uh, uh, thing here and then click on sky texture and click on it, give it a strength of about 0.5 and you'll see in the background it looks like the sky it'll just give a little bit more light to our scene yeah there you go you can see that pretty clearly there and yeah it looks fine and I think that's that's about it it's not the greatest pipe in the world but it's it's a pipe and yeah it'll do I mean it, it It'll work for all of your uh, your DIY needs, your DIY blender needs. Okay, so thank you for watching, and bye.